How to cosplay Mika Hakama. You'll be using two some materials like fabric, bobby pins, needle, thread, sewing machine, fabric chalk, and of course your scissors. This demonstration focuses on making a hakama with four pleats in front and two pleats behind. You're free to increase or decrease the pleats as long as you feel it's more suitable for your character. Don't feel restricted and feel free to modify any areas you like. Let's begin. The first step, measure. A will be this part here. So it will be your waist length minus C, which is the little gap at the side, times 4 because you have 2 in front and 2 at the back. Divided by 2 would be A. F is a small hakama gap at the side, which would be A minus the width of your pleats times 4. Width of pleats will be the parts of the pleats that can be seen roughly 1 inch or so. D, which is the portion here, will be your hip length divided by 2 minus the width of your pleats times 4, then divided by 2. E, of course, will be the length of your entire hakama. So this is roughly how the measurements would go. Alright? I have created a template and would be using it for the rest of the tutorial. I highly recommend you download the template and use it as we go along. The orange lines are lines to be folded along and the orange dotted lines are lines that will be folded but will not be seen on the outside. The green solid parts are inner fabrics that will either be folded in or be out of sight. The red dotted line is just to illustrate the extra fabric and it will not be folded. The arrows indicate the direction of the folding, so if the arrow points here, you fold towards here. If the arrow points over there, you fold towards there. Step 3. Cut and Construct So what you're supposed to do is of course, make sure the measurement of your fabric is according to your own measurement. This is me trying very hard to fold along the orange line as neat as I can. Obviously the template is a little bit too small, but I'm really trying my best there. And so, I hope you're folding along with me now. If you are not, then I suggest you fast forward the video and go over to the next step. And so this is me folding the other side. This is the back right side. Pens. And if everything goes well, you should get four pieces like this. Step 4. Sew it. Now that everything's folded and ironed, it's time to sew them together. Bring the front and back of two different sides together, flip them over, back to back, and then sew along the edges. As usual, we will sew along the red dotted line. Make sure you sew both ends of both fabric together, but take note not to sew the groin area first. After you're done, it should look something like this. Flip them inside out and it will look something like a tube. This is one half of your hakama done. 
is more tip to share. If you don't like how the pleats tend to pull apart like this and making it a hassle to sew, what you can do is you can actually sew a few vertical stitches on the inside of the pleats to hold it in place before you actually do anything else. This will actually make your pleats and your entire hakama much neater and easier to work with. So as you can tell, so along the red dotted line before you do anything else. Let's continue sewing the other sides. So get your front right and your back left, flip them over, align them and then we will sew along the red dotted lines. Of course, be careful not to sew and seal up the two holes at the side of the hakama that is really distinctively what makes the hakama distinctive. <laughs> so, so you're done, flip it inside out and then you get this. Now that you have the left and right side done, you can sew them together at the groin area. Put them together side by side and try to find where is the groin area. It should be pretty obvious as the one that has the curve. So this is me trying very hard to work with my paper template. As all of you know, working with paper can be difficult. So along this edge, I will mark a red dotted line and this is where you will need to sew. Of course in my example here now, I'm only marking out the back of the groin area and I sew it. Then I flip it over like this, holding the front left and front right piece of fabric together and then using my red marker, you know the drill. So if you're done, you should get something like this, looks kind of like a pants, right? So we are going to fold the inner fabrics in. This looks way more like uh, hakamana. This is how the pleats go. If you realize on the front left side of the hakama, there is actually an extra pleat. How it works is, this extra pleat is supposed to fold over to the front right side and underneath the last pleat. The last pleat on the right side will fold on top of it and what happens is on the outside it will look like there is only four pleats. The same goes for the back left. There is an extra pleat here, as you can tell. Flip it over to the other side and let it get covered by the back right pleat. So on the outside it only looks like there is two pleats. When you're done, you should get something like this that looks very much like a kakama already. The last thing you do is to sew a horizontal line along the waistband area. This is just to keep all your pleats down in place so that they will not run out and actually make sewing very difficult for you. Step 5. Sew your back flap. Now take out your template again and cut out the two pieces of back flap. This is what we will be working with next and of course, you are supposed to draw this pattern on your fabric and the red dotted lines of where you will be sewing along. But we are not going to sew it in on the outside, we are going to flip them back to back like this and sew on the inside. What happens next is we are going to turn it inside out, which I can't do in this example here because this is paper. Well, let's say if you have already flipped them over, the next thing you do is you sew the edges in like what I'm doing now. The orange colored borders, just fold them in and then if you want, you can sew another stitch, a line of stitch to just seal it up. Next thing we do, fold it in half and then the edges around half an inch from the edge, fold it 
again like this so what you get here now is something like a paper clip I would say something like a clash what we do is very simple take out your hakama and clasp your back flap onto the back of your hakama it is very difficult to pronounce clasp and again we sew on the red dotted lines step 6 waist belt now cut out the belt template The length of the belt should be at least 3 times your waist length depending on your measurements. We are going to be making a fabric tube now and there are many ways to make a fabric tube so I would not be covering it today. I'm just simply folding it like this. Next we find the middle point. Fold your fabric tube in half like this to find the exact middle point. Then mark it out with a green marker. The next thing we do is attach the fabric tube to the front of your hakama, aligning it to the middle point. Sew as closely to the edge as you can, of course along the red dotted line here. And then you're done! It should look something like this. The last thing you have to do is really just to loop your waist belt into the back flap which now in, in case you have not realized is kind of like a belt loop already in real life your belt should be long enough for you to go around your waist two times and then have enough to tie a knot in front well of course I can't do that in this paper drafting so with this it marks the end of this tutorial and I hope you enjoy it how to cosplay make a hakama Presented to you by Kaika from thecosplaychronicles.com I highly recommend you visit the website and download the template used in this video because it will really really help a lot. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you learned something. Good luck. Bye bye.